We have nothing in our inventory. Huh. Bam! Look at that, man! Unbelievable and amazing! Dude, that is so cool. And we got our arrow. It took a second there. It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things back in our surviving sliptopia let's play welcome back ladies and gentlemen so very nice to see you thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today make sure if you like the video you see don't forget to show your support hit the thumbs up button if you're new subscribe for more and in our last episode we built this the tower of food that's right the tower of food which is 66 percent working yes ladies and gentlemen potatoes we've got carrots we've got beetroots no everybody said that the villagers would trade beetroots but i don't think they are but you know what carrots and potatoes carrots i think we have a huge amount of because those were all backed up potatoes yeah we're under the second chest right now you can see those guys are going strong they're harvesting them right now beetroots well we have 65 of them i mean we could use them they don't have a lot of a use right we could use them for red dye we have use them for a couple of different things but uh yeah i had some plants within plans you guys sometimes weird stuff and things happens to me i dream about minecraft and i dreamt about a couple of new projects that i want to start over here uh one of them is to kind of do a, a pass i'm thinking we have a lot of projects coming up i want to get rid of all the torch spam and i'm really not looking forward to going through and adding in um a sea lantern and a grass block every single place that we have a torch but you know what i think i'm going to do that at some point some evening when i have nothing to do um i might come over here and do all that another thing that i had a really neat idea that i think we're going to end up doing here is i'd like to build we have this stairway over here that comes off uh, of our main road system and we have a new project we're going to build over there today but over here i was taking a look at this and i was thinking it would be really cool if we had a similar deal right here and then we landscaped this into like a sweeping walkway so a natural sweeping walkway that comes around over here and kind of goes over into that area there kind of down around here that we could walk from over here maybe all the way over to where our tree farms are and then inside of here we could really build something cool i don't know what we would need to put in there but something could go inside of here it would be really really neat i think it's a cool spot for some sort of a build um i'm not really sure exactly what we'll do there but that's another idea that i had and with general uh churching up of the area as well kind of adding a little bit more detail in as we go but today i had this other idea now this is something that we really need in source block more than we need uh, in our surviving Sliptopia Let's Play. But right over in this area here, I was thinking, wouldn't it be neat if we had some sort of way, if we were to ever die, to automatically have a, a bunch of armor ready to rock and roll, armor and weapons, especially considering in our villager breeder now, we have this huge amount of uh, enchants, which we can do amazing stuff and things with. Um, and I was thinking, yeah, why don't we right over in this area here, build some sort of a thing, uh, some sort of an amazing and magical thing that would allow us to suddenly uh, get all of our, oh, wait, what? Oh, dude, we got a silk touch there. Suddenly get all of our stuff and things back if we ever had a, had a death. And then we could easily get right back over to wherever it was that we had died um, and grab our stuff again. And I think that would be a really cool build, some sort of cool project. Um, I wanted to try to fit some sort of architectural design similar to what we have going on in the world right now. But let's be honest, there isn't a lot of matchy-matchy. The, the, the colors are matchy-matchy, but architecturally, I mean, that guy and that guy kind of look the same. They have these little edges on them, on the ends here and here. But we have the lens. This building is going to be coming down. We're tearing this down it, it, to build another project. Three spiral towers that I had an idea for. But then over here, you know what I mean? This, this guy kind of doesn't look at it like anything we've got because it's domed. We don't really have any other domes. we got this kind of sweeping deal. You know what I mean? It's, it doesn't have a lot of uh, of matchy-matchy. And so today with this project, it is as well not matchy-matchy. And I think it's going to be really cool. So uh, over here, what I want to start off by doing is do one... How far out does that go? This looks like the perfect spot for this. Uh, and I'm gonna build a kind of a weird deal here. So two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we're gonna pop this guy off like so and come in here like this, right? And we'll pop over here like so and then come down. And we're gonna build some interlocking kind of these interlocking uh, large rectangle archways here. So up here like so, we're gonna come up to there and then like that, all right. So this guy is a 15 by five now. I'm flying, I'm definitely flying when I'm going in there, but it's a 15 by five now. And we're gonna build another one over here too. Two, three, four, well, we don't even need to count. We can just see when we get to the top on the other side like this. 
So we'll bring this guy up here like this. All right. And then that's the same height, right? One, two, three. And then down over here. Let's fly this time. Oh, he's done it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll come up here like this, okay? All the way up to there like that. All right. So we got a couple of these archway deals. And I just want to make sure everything looks okay here. So that's kind of how that's going to be right there. Now, the next order of business, what I'm thinking about doing is coming in one block and then right here, right here, and then right here and right here. Um, we could go ahead and do like this and then add in diorite like that and then go like this as well. Add in some diorite like this. Pop that guy off. Pop that guy off. Go ahead and add in a little bit of white crete on the floor here. Bam and bam. All right. Now, these guys, what I want to do. Do I have enough diorite? Dude, we're going to have to make more. It's come up one block higher than the archways that we have over here already. So, we're going to come up all the way up to here. One block higher. That actually gets popped off. We're going to turn that into one of these bed ombres right like so. And then we're going to bring this guy all the way across here. Did I say across? Oh, I'm so sorry. All right. Down over. And then we'll interlock this guy with this guy, like so, all the way up, like that and like that. So here's what we're going to have, this kind of like interesting interlocking arches design. And I want to do this a couple of different times and then also go ahead and add in um, a little bit of detail into the build too. So that's what I'm going to start off with. We're going to work on this right now and I will be our beast peeps. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a thing. I definitely have made a thing. I have no idea what it is. I don't know what it's called, but it's a thing and it's interesting and it makes my brain feel funny. And that's why we like it. So we added in some diorite, polished diorite, a little bit of white concrete, some blue uh, panes inside of there like so. We have a little bit more churching up to do, but it looks pretty good. Anywhere we have a one block space in betwixt two of the deals. We went uh, from the smallest arch down four and then add a little deal. Over here, we didn't do that just because this guy goes all the way up to the top. And I really like the way that that looks right there. Nice and clean all the way down. We could add one diorite, uh, polished diorite block right there, but I decided just not to. And I think it looks fine. It looks fine the way that it is. Now, the whole idea behind this when we were doing stuff and things is that we're going to build a little deal that allows us to uh, get armor stuff and things back. So what we're going to do here, let's go ahead and put some of these guys away. Maybe uh, like this, like this, like that. All right. So what we're going to be doing here is down inside of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dispensers. So we're going to need some dispensers in order to make this work. We'll have to dig around the side here on the outside edge in order to make all the redstone-y stuff and things work as well. We have uh, one dispenser over here. Let's go ahead and head down inside in here and see on our redstone deal. Do we have a whole batch load of dispensers, please? Pretty please with sugar on top? Uh, eight. That's droppers. We don't need droppers. We need dispensers. So we have enough dispensers to do one of these deals. Let's pop up over here again. Dude, I'm amazing at flying. Grab that guy. Oh, did you see? This is unbelievable. Oh my God, you guys. All right, like so and like so. Let's grab these guys. Maybe some repeaters. You know what else we're gonna need as well? We're gonna need a pleasure plate. We'll just use uh, one of those guys for right now. Wait, ugh, one of those guys for right now. There's our pleasure plate like so. So down inside of here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this like right on camera with you, but I'm pretty sure all we're gonna need to do is go like so, like so, like so, right? Down inside of there. Now, uh, down here is where our pleasure plate will go. We'll actually pop that block off. And then why don't we put a diorite block there? Uh, and then use our pleasure plate like that. I'm thinking. Or, uh, hmm, you know what? I'm not really sure. Dude, that art already triggers. Does that trigger all three of the bottom ones already? Hold on. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. And let's go like this. All right. So... We got 14 stone. Bam, 17. Already triggers all three of the bottom ones. Nail the days to cave stop. Now, you know what I'm wondering? I can never remember. Can I put a... Let's go like this like, real quickly here. Can we put a, a sea lantern down inside of there instead? It still will trigger, right? Yeah. All right. So that'll keep the light level nice inside of there. All right. Feels good, team. Now, where are those guys at? Right over here. So if we dig down inside of here, maybe make a little bit of a stairway deal. Like so. Pop all these guys off like that and then dig this all down inside of here so we can get to the back like so like so we'll open up that too like that and get these guys down over here like so and like so all right so now if we want to bring a redstone signal over here you know what it's really going to be tough because i can't see what's going on let's pop these guys off right here and then if i were to just let me see here 
No, that's not going to do it. Uh, can we get redstone out of there with a repeater? No, that's not, not going to do it either, is it? No. Hmm. So we're going to have to rig something up. It's probably pretty simple. Give me a second here and I'll BRBs, peeps. So this is what I've come up with and I do believe it is working. We have nine pieces of redstone in our nine dispensers now. Like so, like so, and like so. 36 in our inventory if we step in here. 45. Nailed it, Ace the Cave. Stopped! All right, so I'm not sure exactly the most efficient way to do this for all those people who are in deficiency, but this is why I went ahead and do it. I just grabbed a redstone signal from the bottom of this block, and I did have to change that over from uh, a sea lantern to an actual block in order to make that work. Um, and then I just brought that redstone signal over here, and I, I used glass to go ahead and just wire it up like so. A little glass there, a little glass over here, a little glass over there. And then we should be able to go ahead and just cover this entire deal like so uh we've got a lot of blocks now a lot of a lot of pieces are out of the puzzle maybe we just go like so and like so like this like that we might have to go down there and just make sure we have a little bit of light probably a little bit of hot torch action wouldn't be a terrible idea down inside here just in case can i even can i is there even a way is there even a way to possibly let's go over here maybe we just add uh, a torch down inside of there and then we could just add yeah like this that would probably stop our spawning inside of here like so and like so uh let's just go ahead and do all of this guy i'm interested to see if this changes our redstone stuff and things at all squirt that guy back up inside of there and then if we were to like so and like so uh, add in these guys right here. I think I put a little bit of light down inside of here. I don't think it's necessary, but whatever. Like, nope. Like so. Popping those guys in, and then like that. All right, like this. Like this. And then now we should be able to cover this entire deal, I do believe, like so and like so. All right, I think that me that should still be good. We could just test the top guys. That's really the biggest, the 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 hardest deals. Let's just make sure all three of these top guys are still working. If we go like this, 42, 44. There it is. Bam, over there. All right, so it works-ish. Pretty good. Pretty not bad. Uh, we're going to pop that guy. Maybe church this up. This also should probably look a little bit different. Let's go ahead and fix that up too. But everything's working really, really good. I'm excited about it. We should probably test it with some armor as well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set the one up on the other side. And I will be our beast peeps. Chink in the armor, Ted. We are into the storage area over here uh, by just a little bit. And the system that we built before on the other side, it's not going to work over here. So I'm going to try to redesign it right now on the fly with you right here. R live redstone, live redstone stuff and things. Uh, can we go like so and then just do this at this angle instead? If we brought this over here and then up and then, yeah, that probably will work to be honest with you. Let's go like so. Let's bring that guy to there. Okay, I think that will trigger all three of these dispensers. That's really what we have to test right here. Let's pop back up over here and see. Uh, the tallest one, the highest one is really all we need to test. Let me see, we'll just do three though, just in case. Pop that guy in there, that guy in there. One of these guys right inside of there. And then 37 redstone, 40 redstone, bam! So we could do it kind of instead of going uh, out this way and then out this way, and then and we could just do it in this at this angle right here. You know, the other question, mm, no, you know what? I don't think it's gonna do this one. So we're gonna do three of these deals. Yeah, it should work just perfect. Uh, three of these guys out. Let's just double check and see. That's not triggering the uh, dispensers to the side, is it? Let me see here. No, so it's not doing those guys. All right, so we should be able to do three lines of redstone back here. Uh, this guy's gonna have to come back a little bit lot more like so and uh, should be fine should be no problemo at all All right stuff and things are happening. I have a ray number two set up uh, You can take my word for it. I'm not gonna fill it up with stuff and things, but I do have it set up I had to do some creative stuff. I think I told you I was like, oh, this is gonna be easy Blah blah blah. It was not quite as easy as I thought and the way that I had told you I was going to build it I could not uh, I ended up just bringing over a little bit of power to the side here and then using a repeater into a block and a little bit of redstone on top. Um, and it worked out perfectly good. The other two sides, we did it like with the glass the way we did over here. Uh, we started adding in some more detail stuff and things, which looks really cool. Let me see here. Oh, spooky. Spooky stuff and things are happening. All right, now, uh, here's the big question. Can I make this happen a second time? If we pop these guys off over here, like so and like so, and then I think we put a block and a block, and then we went ahead and did like this and like that. One, nope, no, nope, wrong, incorrect. Pop these guys onto there like that and like that, and then I think we did these like so, just kind of making these this stripe pattern here, which I actually rather like. I rather enjoy the stripe pattern. 
Uh, that was an empty deal. And then right there goes a sea lantern, like so. Uh, and then out here, we can pop these guys all off. Like that and like that. And then a couple of stairs, like that and like that. And then out here, is it the block after? Yeah, the block after. So we're gonna go and uh, open these guys up. Like that, and then like this over here, correct? Yeah, like that, and then over here in a diagonal deal. Wrong, incorrect, terrible disaster, hold please. Uh -huh. Put that guy back inside of there, all the way over here, and then we'll use our polished diorite in through there, and then a polished diorite over here. And then I do believe, yeah, that matches. Uh, these guys all come off like that, and then these guys come off. We'll add in a little bit of concrete action, like so, and then there, there, and there. A couple concretes, and then over here, like that, like so. And then we'll pop, oh crap, oh crap. Uh, nope, like these guys, that looks good. And then being very careful, in fact. We'll pop all those deals off of there, like this. And then diorite inside of here. Like so, like so, like that. And then add all these guys on here, like so. We might need a little bit of light out here on the edges. Hmm, where's like a good, probably right there, right? We'll squirt that guy off of there and add a little bit of a, uh, yeah, something, something. Oh, this is wrong. Terrible disaster. Pop that off. There we go, fixed. Uh, inside of here, inside of here, and inside of here. We'll go ahead and add a redstone or sea lantern deal like so and like so and like so all right i do believe that it is quite even i think though we should add a couple other pieces i have some lanterns here let's grab those and then some diorite walls uh over here and here i think it'd be cool to add a little lantern in there and there even though we have a lot of light it still will look really really good uh we could do that here and here as well like so and like so this is very uh in keeping with the architecture that we've been using like so and like so, and then over on this side too. We'll add these guys in, like that and like that. All right, let's take a little bit of a step back in here and see what we've created. It's a thing for sure. We could add some lanterns up top maybe. I kind of like that it's just real plain. It's kind of a neat deal. So here's my idea for what we're gonna be. First of all, we gotta put a bunch of stuff and things away, but my idea for what we're gonna be doing, you know what else? <laughs> I'm always like, hmm, we could do this, we could do that. There's so many cool little things that we could add in here to make this kind of neat. Uh, we could just add in there and there like that and maybe over here too. Like so and like so. Yeah, I'm down to climb with that. That's perfect. Nice. And should we add them here too? I kind of like that this is open right there. Kind of gives it just like a little bit of a different feel. Yeah, we'll keep it the way it is. All right, so my idea for our armors. A uh, set of armors similar to what we have now, although we cannot recreate our super armor because the game is updated and we're no longer able to put multiple enchantments like this on. Uh, we did this back in 1142. Uh, that's why we're able to have these super armor here. Uh, but I'm thinking we'll make one set of the super armor we can make in 1144 and then one set of uh, maybe fire specific armor. So if we lose stuff and things inside of lava somewhere, we'll be able to go ahead and get into the fire set and then head off and do that. So that feels like pretty cool, man. I think now the next order of business is going to be to get a little bit of enchanting going. Now, I thought I'd take you guys along. Hey, what's up? I thought I'd take you guys along for the full ride here because this is going to be quite a thing. We're going to be spending a lot of diamonds, uh, and I thought it'd be really fun to do together. So there's go ahead and grab two of those guys. Let's grab some boots. We'll grab two sets of boots. Let's go ahead and make pants. Let's grab two sets of pants uh, and helmut, like so and like so. Bam. A lot of diamonds just got spent, baby. So let's go ahead and put the rest of these guys away inside of here. 22 left. All right. Out. Oh, man, what? Dude, ugh. I'm going to lose my really good flyer card here. So let's pop over to the fulcrum where we've done the work to make an unbelievable and amazing setup where all of the enchanting is ready to rock and roll. Sharpness, aqua affinity. We'll need an aqua affinity. You know what? Let's just do this. Hold on. Efficiency, looting, silk touch, unbreaking, unbreaking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight unbreaking books. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight unbreaking books. Unbreaking, and then we need protection four and then let me see here no that's flame 
Projectile protection, frost walker, fire aspect, blast protection, respiration, depth strider, fire protection port. We're going to do... Oh, that's power. Right there. One, two, three, four of those guys. And then where's protection for? One, two, three, four of those guys. Now, do we have an anvil ready to rock? We do. All right. So, like so. Oh, we're going to have to go get some stuff, aren't we? Just unbreaking. I wonder how many enchants we can actually get here. Dude, this is so worth all the... Oh, peace out, Anvil. This is so worth worth all the work that we did to set all this up. Look at how quickly we are able to set up a new set of armor. Like, it's unbelievable, man. Friggin' unbelievable and amazing. All right, we're down to 18 levels. So uh, let's split these up a little bit, like so. This will be a little bit easier for us, maybe, if we do it like this. Uh, boots, pants... Helmut, Helmut. All right, so this is our regular protection set. That's our fire protection, a regular protection set. Five levels. Oh, man, we're only going to be able to do like three of them. Like so and like so and like so. All right, so down to three levels now. We'll have to head over, um, maybe grab a few more books. I will head over into um, our Enderman farm to do the rest of our enchanting. But, yeah, you guys see how this is working out? Pretty amazing, man. Pretty unbelievable how quickly we're able to get stuff and things going. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make the two sets of super armor. Oh, you know what else? We got to make weapons as well. Um, let me go get a bunch of levels. I'll be our bees. Your bed was missing or obstructed. Ah, and we're back after grabbing a massive amount of levels and to getting all of our stuff and things repaired and getting a huge amount of enchanting done. Uh, back over here we are, ladies and gentlemen, to do some stuff and things inside of here. So, uh, we're trying to make some unbelievable and amazing bows. We need some punch two, and we have flame power. We need unbreaking. All right, so let me see here. Where's our unbreaking guy? Do we have infinity on them already? Yeah, we do, right? Unbreaking guy right here. Uh, the last two unbreaking books. Wait, we haven't got enough unbreaking books? Hold on, everybody. Let's just go over here, find our unbreaking guy. Give me all the unbreaking books, please. Thank you so much. We just need it. Dude, that is so amazing. All right, we got our two unbreaking books. And then what else do we need? Power, our uh, punch two. And I think that's it, right? So we got our punch two guy. Where are you at, punch two? He's probably over here. It sounds like a lesser enchantment. Flame, protection, fire aspect, depth rider, fire, power, protect. Dude, do we not have a punch two guy? We might not have one. Sweeping edge. Efficiency, looting, silk touch, unbreaking, infinity, fortune, feather falling, punch two right there. That's the last guy we're going to need to get. All right, so we got those two guys. Let's just make these bows a thing. Let's come over here, set them both up like so. That's why we have a lot of anvils over here, like so. Uh, that's our guy, this guy right here. All right, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Those should be pretty good. These are our last guys right over there. Let's go ahead and squirt those back inside of there. And then let's head over here and see what's going on. So let's pop over. Let's fly over here. I already have all the armor pieces inside here ready to rock and roll. Boy, I got a lot more uh, XP than I need. Uh, towards the end there, some of these enchantments to get a lot of these things going takes just a massive amount of experience. So we're going to squirt that guy in there. We're going to put one arrow inside of here too. Over inside of here. Uh, let me see here. That's our last guy. We're going to grab that guy right there. One arrow inside of here. What other things do you think we would need? You know, a stack of food we could just grab, I guess. Uh, kind of would be neat if this would dispense all the things we need, like all the food too. But I feel like that would be okay. Maybe over here though. What if it wasn't, hmm, maybe we could just set up like a, a chest. Oh, also, that's wrong. We got to fix this. We made this little deal over here with these sea lanterns and we didn't add it in over here. We'll have to fix that. Uh, we could add a little chest here, just right there and right there, full of food and full of fireworks. So those could be things. I'm trying to think of what else we could have to utilize there. Totems of the Undying would be amazing, but we haven't got any of those guys yet. So let's call this a day and just see how this works. Let's see with these guys right here how this is going to work out for us. I think we got an empty deal right there. Let's pop all. Oh, dude, what? Elytras? Slip Gator? Are you kidding me? Dude, we need two Elytras in there too. Well, for right now, we're not going to do it. We're going to have to go on a little bit of a quest to get the electrons. All right, so there's a lot of things we can put in there. But for now, let's take all of our stuff and things. Let's just say we were completely dead and we had no things. Bang, bang, and bang. Oh, a couple of picks, too. Probably some picks or something like that. Yeah, we have to do that as well. I just want to see it work more than anything. All right, so we come over here. We have nothing in our inventory. Huh. Bam! Look at that, man! 
Stop playing world amazing! Dude, that is so cool. And we got our arrow. It took a second there. So we got our infinity arrow for our infinity bow. Dude, that is excellent, man. I feel like a pick. A couple other things would be really, really cool here. Let's go ahead inside of this guy. All right, so now we can pop all these guys off. Dude, that is epically fun. That's so, so much fun. All right, these guys in here. This guy right there. Sword over here. Bow over here. This guy right there. I think we need a couple of picks. And other than that, then I'm thinking picks and elytra would be the last two pieces. Um, I think I have a couple spare elytra somewhere. Uh, they've got to be in storage over there. Let's go ahead and get all of our stuff and things. Well, we'll be we'll be safe, right? We won't we won't need it. Maybe rockets in the elytra only, like this and like that. All right, let's go ahead and get our couple more elytras going and uh, yeah, a couple more picks as well. Alrighty, the final test. I don't have any uh, feather falling on, so I got to be pretty careful here. But let's pop over inside of here. We've got a couple of chests set up now. We should be able to come right over here and add in, I think, three stacks of rockets. Let's stick them right in the center here. Like so. And then three stacks of chickens. Like that. And then we added these guys over here as well. We got three, whoop, three stacks of rockets, right? Like so. And then three stacks of chickens, like so. All right, so that's plenty of emergency supplies this is. There's our new picks, mending and breaking silk touch efficiency five. We had to go get some more experience for those guys. Uh, and then also I moved the elytra down inside of here. And then uh, there's our uh, our chest piece up inside of there. We can take it with us. It won't automatically uh, get, it, uh, you know what I mean, added to our body, I don't think. Now, the only thing left to try here, I do believe, is to actually kill ourselves. So uh, let's go ahead and take this off. Dude, I my bed is not here. <laughs> I'll have to wait for night. So, well, all right, let's just do it without the test. All right, without the night thing. That's fine. It's no big deal. We don't have to actually die for this. All right, there's all of our stuff inside of there. We're completely naked. We have nothing. Let's pop over here. Let's go ahead over here. I'm going to back in here. Beep, beep. So you can see. Hey, blah. Oh, no. We used a dispenser instead of a dropper for that arrow, lol. All right. Fix the, the uh, dropper dispenser issue. Let's go team. Bam. All right. So we got nice sword, pick, arrow. This guy right there. The elytra's on our back. You got stuff and things happen perfectly for us. Hold on. Yeah. Looks good, man. Looks pretty good. I'm wondering if I can change the order Will that these guys come into my inventory. I'm not exactly sure because I'd love it to go like that. Well, we really can't change where the dropper is because now that's over in that area. Uh, and we have to make sure as long as we put our armor pieces on the bottom here like this and like that our elytra will always come at us first so then maybe we could add in maybe the pick goes there and then uh maybe the sword and then wait what wait 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 what do we miss a deal here somewhere that guy right there let's go ahead and stick the sword down over here and then that guy up inside of there like that all right sweet and then we can grab those guys and those guys. You know what, guys? I think that's going to call it a day, man. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. That's it for this automatic armor stuff and things deal that we made in our amazing little, uh, I don't know. I like the really the cool monument, man. I think we got to add some pathways around and some other stuff and things. But yeah, I had a great time hanging out with you guys today. I hope that you did too. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you.